So it's August 18th, and all I want to know is, does this cut across go? It's supposed to be a quad trail. Looks simple. And so I take off. And as I'm coming up here, I just want to make sure that I'm on the right trail. So I spot the sign over on the side for the quad, have a look and just confirm. Yeah, I'm on the uh, right track. Have a closer look. But somehow I miss this sign on the side that says closed gate. But I just take off forward having a look. And I can see that there's a few tracks heading up here, and a couple of them look like they got turned around at the gate here. But over to the right, this looks clear. This looks like it goes, right? Yeah, I think so. So, here I go down this road. There's not a lot of a gravel base to it. Pretty muddy and sticky. So I'm a, I'm a little unsure, but it's a road. I mean, pretty easy. A little greasy in places. Uh, slippery. Hear the rocks banging and collecting. But it's okay. Quads going by. Other people are out here. So, just a quick assessment here, it's, uh, it's a, it doesn't have much of a gravel base, and so uh, if it gets a little bit wetter, that can start to pack up my fender like what happened uh, three weeks ago up by Munson, and we were stopped in our tracks, but uh, so far it's pretty good, it's just, uh, it's a little greasy, uh, making some pretty good uh, ruts. But it's all working out. But really, who am I fooling? We want to see someone having a problem. We want to see something that's difficult. We want to see, hey, there's no gate. This is simple. But wait. from Oregon showed me how to actually do this. I don't know if I'll quite do it the whole way he did. So it doesn't look like I can forge this at all. But I can get my bike through this. Now my wife tells me this is not normal, but she says the good thing is my IQ seems to match my age. And with me getting a year older every year, it's increasing. So that's a good thing. Am I right?
Okay. Well, so far so good. Uh, just don't want to be lifting it and have it catch the gate. At first, the uh, front wheel was a little high. Now, I've got a little lower. <laughs> but uh, definitely something you want to think about before you start this. So the part you didn't see was me just trying to lower the bike as I approached the gate and try to get it underneath by holding the one bar down low. Now I had a look and I could have maybe removed the windscreen and I wouldn't have had to lower it as much. But even so, as I approached the gate, I virtually would have to try to do a limbo to get underneath the gate um, and trying to support it like that. With two people, I think it would go pretty easy with one person not so easy. Now in hindsight I had a strap with me. I might have been able to strap that lower bar up to the gate to secure it and then get to the other side and then try to, um, to drag it through and probably could have used the strap to support another part of the bike to keep it from getting as low. But I knew this way would go, and that's what I went with. So, what do you think? Was that the right thing? I mean, had the gate been five feet farther past the bridge, it might have been a different story. Or if it had been September, the river would have been lower, and I might have risked crossing it there. Anyway, that was it. Hope you enjoyed. Bye for now.